Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Overinflated by Rockrat Zero. So uh, this came a little bit of a surprise to me when I opened it because um, I thought we were going to do uh, quads plus an additional constraint uh, for all these additional uh, quad week puzzles. But um, I think this is fine. Rockrat Zero interpreted that to mean he could do a 5 by 5 Latin square as the additional constraint. So this should be interesting. Um, so what does this mean? Well, a Latin square. All Sudokus are Latin squares, but not all Latin squares are Sudokus. Latin squares just have the row and column restriction without restricting boxes. There's no extra regions. So we have a five by five Latin square here, which means in every row and every column we are placing the digits one to five exactly once each, and we also have quadruples in the grid. Um, so quadruples they always touch four cells. They're at the corner of four cells, and each of the digits listed. Um, have to appear at least once within those four cells. If a digit's repeated, it must be repeated. So, um, for example, the, the one way to fulfill this would be like this, two ones, a two, and a three. I can't do this because we need to have at least two ones in here. Um, I also can't do this because we need at least one two in here. So that is how quads work. Um, that's it. Those are the rules. Uh, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, so how do we want to get started? I almost feel like putting one through five in every, anyway. <laughs> um, th these are from one, two, three only. We can do that at least. And all the ones are used up in this row and this column. These are from two, three, five, and all the fives are used up. These are from one, two, four, and all the ones are used up. Um, in fact, these can't be from two or four. Uh, because we have the 2, 4 here, and we have a 2, 4 here. And so within these two rows, how many 2s do we get? We get 2. How many 4s do we get? We get 2. Well, I count 1, 2 of both 2 and 4 in these cells, so these can't be 2 or 4. So these are from 1, 3, 5. And that's going to affect this quad here, because this quad is from 2, 4, 5 only, so 1, 3 doesn't fit. So that's a 5. We get our first digit. These are. This has to be the double 4, and this has to be the 2. Okay, clean all this up a little bit. Um, okay, what do we want to do here? This is going to be the five for the column. We are going to need a two in here, and it can't be here because the one two pair. In fact, this is a three, so that places the two for that quad. We get a one four pair here, so this is the three for the row. These can't be three, okay. This quad will resolve itself through those pairs. This is a 1. These are a 4, 5. Let's just pencil. These are 4, 5. Um, so that'll fulfill the 4 that this needs. The 2 that this needs will be here, though. So this, is the, this can't be 2. This has to be a 1. So the double 1 goes like this, and this is 2 and 4. Um, this, this needs double 5 and a 2. So the 2 goes here. That puts the double 5 here, and that's a 3. This is 4 and 5, this is 1 and 2, 3 and 1, and we finish with a 3 and a 4, just like that. All right, nice and quick. Uh, another um, nice and quick one uh, for our theme week. So it looks like we're... we're I, I randomized the order of these, um, but I probably would have put these earlier in the week had I known, but that's okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this regardless. Um, nice breather again from the more difficult puzzles we had early on. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.